I said, at the commencement of consumerism in the 1920s, black people took advantage. Disenfranchised at every vantage, they still managed to be resilient. Take the brilliance of Greenwood, for example. A black entrepreneur by the name of O.W. Gurley saw it worthy to purchase 40 acres of land and plan to sell it only to blacks. He has simulated something since that has never been duplicated. Hence, what's our excuse? I refuse to believe what these black pioneers achieved was restricted to their time. The keys to their success was their ability to invest in each other. But now it just seems we have the propensity to outdo each other. In the United States, blacks are the number one consumers, coupled with the fact that we manufacture nothing we consume pretty much makes us the biggest losers. I mean, how do we become so vain? Can someone explain how 90% of black hair products are produced by Koreans? Hmm. Or how Arabs from Yemen can come into the ghetto and sell us mama's fried chicken is behind. <laughs> how angry we have the buying power of one trillion yet there's no dividends to justify our excessive spending, but according to T-Pain, we win it. Hmm. I'm beginning to see the air in our ways. What's the real cost for a pair of jeans? A day's wage or a lifetime learning, you can't Earn a living by killing your earnings, turning assets into liabilities. You really need four TVs in that SUV? <laughs> Three cell phones and take out every night of the week? Black Wall Street. Black economics at its peak. A peak of what we could achieve if we pooled our resources and redefined the nature of our needs. In Greenwood, the dollar would circulate 36 to 100 times before it left. In my hood, there is no circulation because there's no black businesses left. Consumerism in 2017 is black people's curse, though in the 1920s it was the initial system used to prove our worth. But now we just want to be the ones who buy it first. Spending is trending, depending who's the recipient of the sale. The death end is definite, though we're so consumer driven it's hard to tell. Mm. All hell to the king and queen of retail. Can't even hear myself think over the laughter when he yells, What are those? No. What's our goal? Mm. To ball out of control with Fendi lenses, E-class benzes, and open toast stilettos? How we think this madness unfolds? Bad credit, we still don't get it. In debt with no debit, rents due, but there's a 20% off sale at Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Because we have the arsenal to win, but no discipline, so we're determined to lose. Just look at the news. The Nasdaq said Prada, Gucci, and Platinum was through the roof. Oh, you need more proof? Okay, why none of the stores, why none of the owners in the stores in your community look like you? Hmm. Something to think about next time you count your loot. <laughs> Black people, be careful how you spend because the only thing expendable is you. Thank mm. you.